Mel, did you want to explain to the Prime Minister oh, what this is? this is my citizenship papers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, would you mind just taking a quick look at that? Just a couple of squibbles. <laughs> we can do just that. a couple of... Um, <laughs> that'd be great if you wouldn't mind. It's time for our very special guest. Anthony Albanese, Albo, walking down the political red carpet. Big <laughs> friend of India, uh, member of the Quad, loves cricket. Loves cricket, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese! <laughs> Good to be here. It is so great to have you here. Thank you so much. We know you're an incredibly busy man, so thank you for fitting us in. By way of introductions, I'm Tim. I know you've met Jacinda Ardern a few times <laughs> already. She's retired. She has retired. She's now hosting a show. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a million things to get through. We just saw a clip from the G20. You're just back from summit season, so the G20, ASEAN, the East Asia Summit. I've always wanted to know, with these big summits, do you text the leaders afterwards? Is there like a, is there like a G20 WhatsApp group? Yeah. We, we, we do. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. We do, there is. It's polite to yeah. test Prime Minister Modi and say thanks, congratulations on a successful G20. Oh, wow. But some of it is uh, more low-key, like yeah. uh, texting President Macron when Australia, the Matildas beat France in the, <laughs> in the World Cup. Do you do you we had a little bet. Do you send each other, <laughs> send each other memes? <laughs> no, it doesn't go that far. Okay. But there, there was a fair bit of sledging with Rishi Sunak during the Ashes series, it's yeah. got to be said. And I'm guessing <laughs> guessing we haven't replied to the text from the Fijian Prime Minister after the rugby? Uh, no, no, uh, we're, we're pretending that didn't yeah. happen. Yeah, okay. We'll leave him on rear. <laughs> um, we've got some footage of you at the summits. Mm -hmm. This is you Happy arriving evenings. at a tribal council, by the way. <laughs> um, and what... What's with the handshake? Why do we do the backwards handshake at every summit? You just do as you're instructed. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't work it out either and I wasn't sure whether to do this or that. Yeah. I don't know whether I got it right or not. This or that? You know no, that? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. It's like break into a rap. <laughs> Um, you often have to give a big speech at these events. Um, we enjoyed your speech at the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. Working to shape the future, not waiting for the future to shape us. Yes. Thank you very much. Very powerful speech. Yes. Big applause. And got a great reaction in the room. Yes, a standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> By one man. From one guy. But one guy. He's a, he's a big guy. Lloyd Austin, the US <laughs> Defence Secretary. Yeah, so if right. you're going to get someone to stand up and cheer... There's a fine line between... He's the guy you wanted. There's a, <laughs> absolutely. There's a fine line between ovation and getting caught going to the bathroom, isn't there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout-out to our friends of the US. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking, of, speaking of big trips, speaking of the US, your next stop at the end of the year is to the White House for an official state dinner with Joe Biden. We are off in October. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You know he has dinner at about 4 o'clock, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's more an afternoon tea, I suppose. Uh, being Prime Minister, you must get to meet so many incredible people, um, other politicians, world leaders, royals, celebrities. Do you, do, you, do you get starstruck anymore or do you ever get nervous meeting people? Oh, absolutely. Isn't Sam nice? Kerr. Sam Kerr, of course. <laughs> Sam Kerr was our flag bearer at yeah. the King's coronation and, like, she's so fantastic and she was really nervous and I was nervous about meeting her and... And you're getting those great. sort of same sort of feelings now on our show. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nick Cave, Tim. <laughs> You've made a very powerful enemy there, <laughs> Prime Minister. I would have a go back, but there are, to let everyone in at home, there are about 10 AFP officers in the room <laughs> as we speak. Um, none of them are here for Mel's visa, yes. but... Um, <laughs> Look, as Prime Minister, you do get to meet some incredible people. The Prime oh, Minister no, was happy to hand over a cheque for $6 million to help sick kids as part of a telephone in Perth on the weekend. Anthony Albanese was made to wear his pyjamas. <laughs> that can't be unseen. No. <laughs> and, and, it, and it was worse from the front. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> And, and they gave us absolutely no warning <laughs> whatsoever. But nice to catch up with the Kazakhstani Prime Minister, isn't it? <laughs> um, that guy raised a lot of money for yeah. kids' yes. charities. So. Yeah, I saw his budget black hole earlier. And I, don't <laughs> we can, I don't think we need to go back to that. Prime Minister, you've also been at some incredible events, the Women's World Cup, uh, the Queen's Funeral, the King's Coronation. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, got a private meeting with King Charles. 
Yes, what did you guys chat about? Oh, we're not allowed to talk about what you chat with the king about. Oh, That's really? one of the protocols. When you have a one-on-one, -on -one, you have a private audience and it has to stay private. So oh, wow. it's a bit strange, really. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you'd think that you could talk about yeah. the obvious, but... Uh, we'd... OK, what did you talk about with the guy in the man king? <laughs> <laughs> another protocol, another protocol, and I think we can. But King Charles was... Amazingly uh, full of beans and, and uh, I think he's a, a very nice man. I hadn't had the opportunity to sit down and chat with him before. I'm a Republican, of course, but it <laughs> doesn't mean that you can't have a good relationship. Well, of course, you were there at the coronation, you meeting, meeting King Charles, the royal family. It's not the first time that as Prime Minister you've been surrounded by so much incredible history. Barbara Streisand and Celine Dion have sat in that room there and chosen jewellery from here. <laughs> now, how special was it to be in the room next to the room where Barbara Streisand <laughs> and Celine Dion chose jewellery? Very special. Very <laughs> special. Well, that was uh, at Chironi's in my electorate of Leichhardt. Yeah, right. So they're one of the world's best jewellers and their main office is in this little suburb, Leichhardt, in my electorate where, with all these apprentices working away. Just sort of... Incredible skills. Just reminding that just to my boyfriend who might be watching. <laughs> Pretty bare at the moment. <laughs> um, you've got a lot on your plate at the moment. Let's talk about the big one, The Voice. Do you think Jason Derulo has been a breath of fresh air? Has <laughs> he just revolutionised that show? Well, there are two voices on. There are. Yes. One of which is more important. <laughs> and, and it's just about recognising... First Australians in our, oh, <laughs> in our constitution. Yeah. And interestingly, when the founding fathers, who were all men, sat down and wrote the constitution in 1901, there's a provision that New Zealand can join Australia as the seventh state, but there's <laughs> nothing in there, nothing I... whatsoever about Indigenous Australians. Right. And that's I what we need signing to... signing off on that other... We night. need to do. <laughs> well, I think, I think I speak on behalf of the nation. We're all opposed to a New Zealand voice. Uh, <laughs> but... The voice of it, it's on at the moment. I wanted to ask, did you expect it would be this bruising? It has been quite a big thing for you as Prime Minister to take on a lead. Did that surprise you? It was always going to be difficult to change the constitution, yeah. but it's really uplifting too. I mean, a couple of hundred thousand people marched around Australia and people hearing their voice and the fact that we're talking more about Indigenous disadvantage and closing the gap and what we need to do and listening to... Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people is a good thing. So I, I sincerely hope that Australians vote yes on October 14 because it will be like marriage equality, like the apology to stolen generations. After it happens, people go, oh, why didn't we do it earlier? Because the fear campaign has no base. Totally. So it's October 14. Which way are you leaning? <laughs> <laughs> Have you made up your mind? I'm leaning right in. Leaning right in. Fantastic. Um, Prime Minister, we know you've got to go very shortly. You made a lot of promises prior to the election. Uh, the Housing Future Fund, The Voice, cheaper childcare, tax breaks for Logie winners. Um, <laughs> a lot of key promises. We did just want to follow up on one key promise. $220 million aimed at uh, eradicating the yellow crazy ant. <laughs> Where are we at with the yellow crazy ants? Well, funny you should ask. <laughs> Today we're announcing it's actually been eradicated in two places wow. in North Queensland. <laughs> and yet, as you will have seen, it's rife in the green room. Um, <laughs> look, Prime Minister, we've played a lot of clips of you on our show over the years. This is one of our favourites. I cooked some pasta. It was pretty simple. Pasta with a pretty basic sort of arabiata sauce. <laughs> That was on election night. Yeah, is that, is that, that true that that was what you were doing on election night? On election night, Penny Wong came around yeah. and I cooked pasta for Penny and for Jodie and Nathan. There were a few people there. And the only people who ate yeah. was me, Penny and Nathan had a bit too, but me and Penny were there just eating away. The rest... <laughs> or Penny, as I call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> You don't want to upset Penny. No. <laughs> I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you the big tip. Probably not the, probably not the foreign minister. No, good, no. good court. 
<laughs> um, you, you touched on your family. Um, Jodie, your partner, has been an incredible source of support for you and she shared a beautiful insight into your relationship. Ms Hayden says the moment she realised she loved Albo was when he was involved in a serious car accident. <laughs> now, is that what tipped her over the edge? <laughs> uh, apparently. apparently. <laughs> That's the lesson, Mel. Just go. Just. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll make it happen. Uh... We've covered a lot, PM. We're so grateful that you've given up your time. Before we do let you go, we did just want to give you this. Mel, did you want to explain to the Prime oh, Minister what this is? Oh, just my citizenship papers. Yeah. <laughs> would you mind just taking a quick look at that? Just a couple of just scribbles. We could just a that. couple of... Um, that'd be great if you wouldn't there mind. You yep. I can get that. Yeah. <laughs> We've made it easier. Oh, hell, right, We've made it true. far easier and 4,000 uh, Kiwis are now also Australian citizens. Mm. 4,001. <laughs> 4,001. We might actually get a decent rugby side out of it. <laughs> Fantastic. There you go, Albo. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, put me and out I've on got... the wing. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> we know you are incredibly busy, so we are Sorry. so... Sorry. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to swear in front of you. That's embarrassing. Feel free to write denied on that now. That might be a bit more. That might be a bit more appropriate. Yeah. Good call. Good call. If we denied Australian citizenship who said that word, yes, we'd really struggle to. We'd really have a. We'd be Micronesia now, wouldn't we? Well, we know you are incredibly busy, so we are so grateful that you gave up your time to spend with us. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese! <laughs>